Offloading all the shit. So I'm making like a whole behind the scenes video uh, to go along with it. Yeah. It was, it was kind of last minute. Our dedication as a team was lit because we stayed in a small ass hotel and we didn't know what the fuck was going on. Oh, fuck, for real, this should remind me of Hong Kong and shit. God damn. <laughs> Town shit. Yep, I didn't want to do this on my phone because Jay let me go and do my shit. <laughs> Damn. I mean, not on my own. We got we got a game plan. Yeah, we got a game. You ain't ready, Jalen. You don't even know. So where are we headed right now, Andy? Uh, I'm about to go pick up the yeah. pick up the ring. Pick up that diamond thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah she finna be gleaming, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> David just flew in. Zeke just flew in. Yeah. Yeah. Carl, yeah. Carl just flew in. Yeah, you know I'm behind the camera. Yeah. There we are, the second floor for Engagement Rings Winning Band. Yeah, so I already went through like all the paperwork and everything. So I'm just mm -hmm. coming today to, uh, to pick it up. Yeah, shout out to Tony. Tony in the, Tony in the blue box. This is, this is That's Tony. Great. Yeah. It's not, even, it's not even tomorrow yet, and it's like, what? Mm hmm. Great. Hungry, so I haven't eaten today. Mm -hmm. and then just... My guy just dropped them bands. That's how you do it, man. Big town shit came through, you feel me? He dropped them bands on the tip. See it. You gotta drop the bands on the tip. How it feel, bro? It's one step closer. Yeah. Till tomorrow. It's, it's getting real, like. So what we're doing right now is um, Zeke's preparing the ring and we're gonna connect it to the, the Maverick. David has the Ronin with a dead battery and attached to that, he has a black magic. Put the real ring in here and if he fuck up, man, it's your ass. I fuck up, I still lose the box though. About two years ago, maybe even actually before that, maybe two or three years ago, Andy had brought up, or he had brought up this idea to bring a ring box on a drone and rig that for your proposal and that to me was insane. I'm like, how, the, how the hell are you gonna rig a ring box on a drone like wherever you are and um, I mean that to me is tight. To see that idea come to fruition that you had from so long ago is, is dope. When you talk about proposing it it didn't surprise me but then I just like he's finally gonna do it because I she will be the one, for sure, for you, like I already know. Because the way you, you act around her, the way she like motivates you, no one does that, like, for you. Hello. What's up, you guys? Uh, the apartment's kind of messy right now. It's so messy. Super messy right now, but today's our anniversary. So David's about to get some B-roll. I'm about to get the drone up. Oh, I forgot to get the box. It's in, uh, it's in my thing. What box? The ring the box. Ring box. The ring box. You, yeah. you forgot the most important you thing. It's like, already forgetting stuff, bro. I was like, y'all record me. Shit. Yeah. All, right. All right, I'll meet y'all after though. Yeah. First complication. What happened? We have flight restrictions. Flight restrictions. What are you doing? Set up a uh, time lapse for the proposal stage. So it's got landscape in New York and our buddy B right here setting it up. It's about to be lit. Okay, so right, right. Um, now I'm gonna find my location for... Sorry, sorry, sorry. Wait, I'm not. Okay, so now I'm gonna find my location to shoot them as he proposes. Follow me. Hey, this man. <laughs> I think he was good. I think he was good. Bring it back to me. I think he was out here early. I didn't think he was going to be around that corner. You never know who would pop up. Anyway, let's go. Fair piece of work was the. Uh, yo, man, I'll be honest with, with, with yours, man. 
Yo, like not because it, you know, but yours, man, on some real stuff. Like yours, because you gave me that opportunity. Like you believed in me, man. Like everybody else was like, no trust, but you just gave me that trust. Uh, just got into my suit, and tonight we're going to eat at a place called where are we eating at? Some tavern in uh, Flatiron, and yeah, sorry, we're celebrating our nine years. Jalen just posted that she's leaving for a trip tonight, and <laughs> and he's making up some bullshit, lying to her, and uh, yeah, she's not leaving. She's staying right here in New York. <laughs> so we're setting up the B-roll, and then we followed them to the restaurant, and that was that was we waited there for 30, 40 minutes for 10 seconds. Literally 10 seconds. We're coming over to Zeke to see what Zeke's up to. He's, get, he's getting some bangers of the uh, tavern. Make sure that Andy's not coming in anytime soon. Yeah, because that'll be awkward. <laughs> oh, no, he's, he's still over there. Oh, wait. Yeah. He's still over there at his place. Yeah. We're over here near the flat iron building. Yeah, we know where that nigga at. The communications we already know from a rip we know andy the communication is going to be bad so we already know this is going to happen so we're just trying to figure out but going to that restaurant again we were like oh what uber you in all he said was fuck i didn't take the uber black <laughs> one shot it wasn't even a shot well yeah it was a shot but i was like damn it was quick it was hella quick After dinner, it was like game time. It was like, oh, it's really happening. We got everything ready. Everybody was in a position, but then here go Andy again, like not telling us what the fuck going on. We were all nervous. Like we were all looking at our phones, trying to track him, trying to see when is he done, but he's not, he wasn't answering us. And we working against a lot. We working against sunset that happens at 8.05. We all agree you're the worst person at communicating. <laughs> Communications is horrible. Uh, he don't never respond. This nigga don't act like he got a phone. <laughs> We're like, damn, he really ain't leaving, bro. Like, it can't get night because we got a fucking drone in our sky. Like, it needs to, this, this has to work out. I'm not really super big on speeches, but I guess this video will do. I was actually really anxious. Probably it's just just as anxious as you because I know that you you probably really wanted this shot and like you had seen it in your eyes and like damn like you're trusting me to get this drone in your in your hands at the right time without like all the shit that could go wrong would go wrong and kiss me slowly we were all like really nervous like trying to because it's and like we want to make something really nice we want to capture, like, we really want to capture all the moments for you. I love you. After getting the shot done, I was like, stress relief. And then just waiting for you to get up and hug Jalen after, I was like, shit, okay. Every, all the anxiety and stuff just went away. <laughs> all at the same time, we were like, damn, we got it. Like, we all did our part. 
and then we all felt good about like the proposal that we were a sense of relief and like happy at the same time like happy for him and happy we got what we what we came here for and we got to like be here with you promise i'll be better tomorrow the one that you love has it changed it's just one of your whole family watched the whole thing Thank you. Give me an update now. Hey, you feel me? Niggas got married and shit. You know, they finna get married in this motherfucker, bruh. My nigga done did it, bruh. My nigga done did it, bruh. Oh, God, I nigga done did it, bruh. All my niggas in the town, bruh. You can, you can do this, bruh. He ain't in the town. He got out the hood. He really did. Did it on top of the thing. You feel me? <laughs> hey, I'm loaded in this thing, you know? I'm so happy for my brother. I'm so happy for him, though. I'm so happy. All right, all right, all right, enough. Hey, hey.